Go check out bootsakefdb.com for all your speed painting needs. Do you sometimes see red when painting your miniatures? Well, let's test some red speed paints today. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. So these are the Imperial Guards from Imperial Salt, the board game. They were all primed in a Brain Matter Beige uh, Army Painter Primer. And we're gonna be testing four red speed paints. Now these all have red in the name. And we're gonna see what they look like when they cover, what they look like when they dry. We're gonna see the coloration of the actual red they are because you're gonna be a little fooled by a couple of these ones. And we're starting off with one of the original speed paints, Slaughter Red. This is probably my favorite red so far, but I'm not going to get into it uh, right away because there are other kinds of reds. There's a Carmine Dragon, there's a um, Murder Scene, but that's more like a very darkish purplish red. Uh, there's a couple other ones that are considered to be red in uh, this set, but I wanted to go with the four that actually call themselves red. Because I want to know, are they truly red? How well do they cover? Do they go well on top of any kind of primer too? That we won't know right now because I'm just doing Brain Matter Beige. And by the way, if you don't have matte white, Brain Matter Beige is the next best thing uh, for speed paints. Uh, because it's just a tad warmer than white. And it doesn't really just make the color lose its saturation or lose like the, the coloration in it. And as you can see, the Slaughter Red is a beautiful color, a very dark red. It gets into all the nooks and crannies. It really, croonies, wow. <laughs> uh, it is, it, it just goes on so well. And I put the exact same amount of drops. I believe it was three drops of each bottle to see what that would cover. And this one, I still had tons left. It's just so thick uh, and it goes on so well. Uh, that it just does a good job and you barely need any. And as you can see, I'm using a, I think this is the monster brush I am using right now. Uh, it's very big and very thick. And this is fun because the whole model is pretty much this color, right? And so I get to be able to use it on a whole area compared to just certain areas. So you really get to see how it gets into the areas that are a little bit uh, uh, more recessed, more like, uh, geez, I can't talk this morning, guys. I just can't. Anyways, you get what I'm trying to say. The next one is another um, original speed paint from a year ago. This is Blood Red. And by the way, I've been using these speed paints for over a year and I still have tons in the bottles because you don't need much. This one, again, covered up super well. It used a little bit closer to the whole three dots of paint that I did put, the three drops. But it was covering amazingly. And then I'm just being very careful here not to get there. I think this is a call. I don't know if it's a staff. I don't know what it is from the Imperial terms. Look, I'm a I'm a geek for stuff, but I'm not a nerd for stuff. I don't know everything. I I I just love stuff. Okay, that's the way I am. Uh, and if I offended anybody, I'm sorry. But you know, there's geeks and there's nerds out there. We all are a little geeky and nerdy at some point. Uh, <laughs> and if you're in a hobby like this, you're definitely one of those two. Uh, yeah. So this the blood red. Okay. So frankly, though, you're gonna notice when it dries. At first, you're looking at it. Okay, this is. Really nice, a beautiful red, not too dark, it's got all that. But when it dries, you're gonna see a little hint of difference from the slaughter red, of course. You can tell it is a bit lighter, for sure. And it does go into all the recesses, it doesn't pool too, too much. Uh, it does a good job of getting all the, the shadows and all that. This would, I mean, I could have tried like the same colors on a Zenithal highlight, but I only had four of these Imperial Guards, so I didn't really wanna bring out some more models to paint red. Uh, the next one is Poppy Red. This is a brand new um, uh, speed paint that came out this year in 2023, in case you're watching this in the future. And um, it, again, this one covers up really well, but I almost use every single droplet of paint from this one. And it was starting to dry up a little bit on my palette as well, I noticed. And I'm using a dry palette, not a wet palette, so because a wet palette would water it down a little too much. And as you can see, I didn't fast forward these videos. I really went real time so that you see how it covers and how, much, how many times I got to go put some more paint on my brush. Even though this is a big brush and it is loaded with paint, it you can tell as I start getting right to the bottom. So like I put on the top here, it comes out really nice and thick, gets into all the nooks and crannies. Crannies, 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 folks. Crannies, nooks and crannies, what? I can't speak. <laughs> but as you start going down even more, like when you're close, 
in little areas like this and you're pushing a little harder on your brush just to get the paint out to get all the details it will stay in your brush and it will come out a little bit more but as soon as you start going from the top to bottom like you're supposed to you start feeling that you've lost a lot in your brush as you get to the bottom and I find that it gets a little pale so this one you're going to use a little bit more paint you're going to go back to your palette a few more times to get some more paint but again it is a beautiful red color if you've seen my black rose wars videos i use it all the time this is my go-to paint for all the, the roses on the bases um and i find this is has a nice floral red color to it it covers quite well uh it doesn't super pool up like there's not like excessive pooling in the areas whereas slaughter red i found it did uh, and as well as the blood red it kind of pulled a little bit more this one's a little bit more silky uh, it just you can just drag it down and you can see it gives a nice shine while you're painting it. it doesn't dry super fast even though they said that the newer ones dry up a little bit faster I found this one didn't actually dry that much but you can see some pooling there in the front and the last red I'm using is what they consider a bright red this one I was expecting it to be literally bright like very out there now it is very light and this one I actually had to had a fourth drop for some reason this one just got absorbed into the brush a lot it's it seems thinner than the other ones it's not as viscous as the first two um, I know they changed their um, uh, what do you call their recipe for the speed paints but this one as you can see look how light it's getting as I get to the bottom and I didn't put more paint there on my brush it just keeps getting lighter as I get to the bottom and again it doesn't dry super fast it was drying on the palette a bit but not on the miniature too much but like i said i ran out and had to put another drop of this one uh so i was quite surprised by that uh so i don't know if it's the brush that was absorbing more or if the primer was taking on more or just took more to cover i don't know how to explain how that works i'm not a technical person in the painting world but I do know it does cover very nicely it is a nice red but you'll see again there are two of them that are not really red in the end when you see them in a, a darkened area and a little bit more lighter area there's a quite a difference between two of them with the other two and you're gonna see that after and I was quite surprised too and I'll tell you which one my favorite one is uh, well there's two but there's one that really to me would be my favorite red that I would use if I was using red like that was my point uh, all the other ones including this one are very useful speed paints if you have them if you don't go get them and check out bootsickfdb.com free shipping in Canada for over $165 so hey go take a look at them if you're anywhere in Canada uh, and tell them I sent you all right uh, they know me personally and they're a great bunch of people and uh, yeah all right so here we're looking at them they're all dry and look at there is two you can tell difference and here's in the light there's especially one on the right hand side of that is just almost orange so slaughter red beautiful when it dries very dark this is a red color to me this is defines red okay this is what your first you look at this one you do it this is red then you have blood red that has a hint of orange to it uh, it pulls up quite a bit in some areas and I left it there because I wanted the shadow effect as well but it does a good job covering uh, poppy red this my folks is my favorite red it's not too dark it's not orangey it's a beautiful color of red uh, I really enjoyed this one a great job on it now this one the bright red though don't know what they were thinking when I would have called this like orangey red more than anything else but to me it is not really red anyways I want to thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed these videos hit that like button hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all in the next